Hey YouTube, today I'm going to show off a piece of software called Telekinesis. This is an iPhone remote for your iPhone. So basically what it allows you to do is access your Mac from anywhere over your iPhone. This is a web app so there's no jailbreaking required. And the software you can get from code.google.com. It is open source meaning it's absolutely free. So I will have a link to the software in my video description. This is part one, I'm just going to show off the software, and part two I will show you how to set up the software for the iPod Touch, so you can use it just over your home network, only your home network. If you want to be able to set it, use it from anyone's home network or over Edge, then watch part three. So here we go, slide and unlock. So the first step we want to do is go ahead and open up Safari. So open up Safari and oh, I'm gonna go to Google to start out so now that I'm at just a standard web page I'm gonna go ahead and open up telekinesis let me try that again oh you need to have the software running so let me refresh one more time there we go so this is the home screen for Telekinesis. Um, so you basically you can browse your applications folder, and you can take a look at what the iSight camera is looking at. Um, you can browse your documents and files. You can use it as a remote. You can view the screen of your Mac. You can look at the scripts. You can open up Terminal and use Spotlight. So I'm going to show you the camera first. Applications, documents, files. Those are pretty much self-explanatory. So I'm going to go ahead and click the camera button. And what this does is it uses the iSight camera to take a picture of what the iSight camera is looking at at that point in time. So here, that's the picture it took. There's where the MacBook is at right now. And there's where the MacBook is looking. So that worked pretty well, I might say. Okay, let's go ahead and go back. I'm going to open up... Mm, screen next. So I'm going to go ahead and click screen. The page is loading. What do we have here? iPod remote. There's my... Is that my Mac background? It is. There's my icons. Here's my dock down here. So let's say I want to open up pages. I can open up pages. Uh, where is it? Right here. So click pages. You'll get a little cursor right there, and you'll have a button to click. So I've clicked it, and as you can see on the Mac, Pages has just opened up. The page will refresh on the iPhone. It refreshes every five seconds. So, oh, what do we have here? Choose a blank document. Choose. Click. So the page just clicked on the Mac, and the page is refreshing here. So, let's say I want to type something. How do I do that? Well, you just click where you want to start typing. So, I'm going to click right there. Click. And then you click one more time. It's now that you've placed your cursor and you select this little box down here. Keyboard pops up. I'm going to say, Hello. Oh, this is a little laggy. Tube and click go. As you can see the page is refreshing from right up there. I'm going to go ahead and click done. Well, hello YouTube has just popped up right there. And look at the back. Hello YouTube. Now let's hold this right here and I'm going to go ahead and type something. And there's the keyboard right there. Um, I'm not going to use the keyboard, I'm not going to cheat. So I'm going to go ahead and click to start typing, and I'm going to hit go start typing. And I'm going to go ahead and click go, and you'll see it pops up, and that just popped up. What does it say? I am hacking my computer. 
I'm going to go ahead and click done and I'm going to back out of here. So that's just to show off that you can do anything from your Mac. It's basically like back to Mac for your iPhone. Let's go ahead and go back to the telekinesis homepage. Let's say I want to watch Borat on my iPhone and I don't have it on the iPhone memory. Well, you're in luck. Just open up Spotlight and click here and type in for at and click go and it will search it takes a little bit of time so bear with it you can select the movies I'm gonna go ahead and select movies and click done and click oh no it's actually under music click done and I'm gonna click the spotlight button well I didn't find anything under music let's try something else let's I know I have a oops sorry I didn't mean to do that I know I have a gateway video you sort of need to know the location for it to work I have a gateway video in my movies folder so, click Movies, Done, Spotlight. And it's found the Gateway video. I'm going to go ahead and select it. And it's going to load the movie, as you can see, loading movie. Oh, it's just done loading. Right, Here's my well. video. Hey. I can pause, I can rewind, I can adjust the playhead. So I can do anything. I can stream live video, or video, from my Mac to my iPhone or iPod Touch. So I'm going to go ahead and back up. So I'm back at Spotlight. Let's say I want to listen to music. So I'm going to click that. Oh, Offspring. Oops. I'm not feeling good today. I'm looking at the camera trying to type this so it's a little difficult. Next, select my music folder and click done and now click the spotlight button oh I have all of my offspring music appearing here let's play smash so quick time pops open and I can pause it and I can adjust the volume I can adjust where the playhead is so, yeah, I'm streaming music from my Mac to my iPhone or iPod Touch. So, let's back up. Uh, let's go back to the home page. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use my iPod or my iPhone as an Apple remote real quick. So, I'm going to actually open up iTunes to make on the Mac just to make this a little bit easier because when you're using it as an iPod remote, you would most likely have iTunes already open up. So, iTunes is opening. Bear with my slow computer. I throw the leg down. Okay, iTunes is open. I'm going to go ahead and press play on the Apple remote. And you can hear music playing. Let me turn the volume up. And you hear the music getting louder. Let's pause it. Music is paused. Let's play it. Let's go to the next song. So you can use your iPhone as an iPod remote or as an Apple remote. So this has been Telekinesis. So look for videos two and three on how to set this up. Uh, thank you for watching. Feel free to post this video on any other website. Um, just give me credit for it. And remember, the software comes from code.google.com. Please look for videos two and three. This is Domri7367 from YouTube. Thank you for watching.